So there are six syndromes of the sixth nerve, and you should watch that video. But the six syndromes track the course of the sixth nerve from its nucleus in the pons, which causes a horizontal gaze palsy because the MLF, the medial longitudinal fasciculus, is also arising from the sixth nerve nucleus. Fascicle, which normally is defined by the company it keeps, contralateral hemiparesis, hemisensory loss, cranial nerve 7, horner. In the subarachnoid space, it can be a non-localizing sixth. In the cavernous sinus, it's accompanied by other cranial nerves, 3, 4, 5, in addition to 6, and the Horner syndrome. And through the superior orbital fissure to go to the orbit. And so the six syndromes of the sixth nerve pass through this course. And today we're just talking about the clivus. So in the subarachnoid space, the sixth nerve leaves the caudal pons, has to go rostral up this bone, and that bone is the clivus. So it's a dangerous place for a sixth because the only cranial nerve in the upper and mid clivus is sixth. So a sixth nerve palsy could be the only presentation of a clival lesion. And those are like chondroma, chordoma, chondrosarcoma, meningioma. And a very interesting finding is the lower clivus can have a 12. And the combination of a 6 plus a 12 is called Gottfriedson, the Gottfriedson syndrome. And a 612 pretty much localizes the clivus because the, all the other cranial nerves, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all exit and go laterally. And so the only midline cranial nerves is 6 and 12. So a 612 combination, Gottfriedson is clivus. 6 can be an isolated finding in clival lesions. And that's why you should image a sixth nerve palsy. And not only for the non-localizing six, but the clival sixth.